Welcome to We Happy Few. This is a, I guess you could call it an action-adventure survival game. It's set in an alternate history where, I'm not sure if Germany won World War II, but at least Germany occupied the UK. This place is an isolated little island in the UK, occupied by German forces. Apparently something horrible happened here that caused the German occupying force to voluntarily leave. I don't know what that thing is. But it was so horrible it caused them to leave and also caused everybody here, or most people anyway, to develop and start taking and live on a drug called joy. Which basically makes everything seem like, well, makes everybody pretty much feel happy and everything pretty much look okay and rosy and wonderful, even though everything's actually fallen apart. It was in early access for a while, but about a year ago, I think it was August 2018, it fully came out of early access, and I've been meaning to give it a shot, so let's jump into it. I've played it for about an hour on my own, just to get used to some of the controls and tweak settings and stuff like that. I wanted to play it for a bit, because it seems like a pretty complicated game, there really is a lot going on, a lot of things to manage when it comes to the survival aspects. So let's start a story. There's different characters, although you can only play as Arthur for your first run. Gonna do normal difficulty. So I can either remember what actually happened, or take joy. I try taking joy, and that means you just continue on as you've been, blissfully unaware of what's actually happened or is happening. And then the game just ends. So let's not do that. Percy! Percy! been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street... What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do.
June 4th, 1947, Percival and Arthur Hastings were the surprise winners of the scrap drive. Arthur told the judges that his brother had a photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in the Garden District. Percival himself rarely speaks to strangers, apparently. The scrap will be melted down to be used to support the war effort against the Soviet Union, which is by all reports going splendidly. The brothers brought on a record 1,654 pounds of scrap steel, winning them a 50-pound victory against communism... Oh, 50-pound victory against communism bond. <laughs> the second prize went to Alan Unwin, who brought in 315 pounds. And then below that, buy your victory against communism bond. Save now, rejoice later. A happy society is built on a happy past. <laughs> Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. There he left. So, basically our job is censoring the past. Enjoy censors the present. General? General Bing clarifies registration procedure, May 7th, 1947. I didn't really read these too much on my first playthrough because I was kind of just trying to figure out how the game works, not really doing story stuff. So most of this is, is actually new to me. General Robert Bing, the municipal liaison to the occupation authority, appeared on Parade Street late last night to speak to a crowd of citizens, urgently requesting clarification of the new child registration rule. As most Wellingtonians know by now, all children who will be under the age of 13 by July 22nd must be registered with the authority. General Bing clarified that the deadline for registration is next Thursday. He refused to speculate on the rationale for the registration regulation. I cannot illuminate the regulation any further because Colonel von Stauffenberg has not informed me of its purpose, stated the general. I imagine and hope that it has something to do with maintaining nutrition for our growing children in this time of scarcity. But the OA has not told me so explicitly. He reminded the crowd that the occupation has so far been extraordinarily orderly and peaceful, and that citizens' continued obedience to legal orders of the OA is crucial to maintaining goodwill with our visiting. Continued on page 15. Okay, so it was the German occupying force that was making this registration program. Everybody register who will be under the age of 13. I hope I did that right. I'm just gonna prove everything. I don't want to censor the past. Drug trials a qualified success, says Sir Robert. 3rd of March, 1952. The first round of trials of a new anti-melancholic medication have been a qualified success. Stated Dr. Alexander Gross, acting head of the Melancholia Studies Laboratory at the Royal Victoria Hospital. The drug reduced melancholic feelings in 28 out of 30 despondent rats over a 20-day period. Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electrical shocks. That's horrible. Despondent rats take up to twice as long to navigate a maze. After administration of the drug, Previously despondent rats regained up to 50% of their navigation speed before administration of the shocks, stated Dr. Gross. The drug now has to be tested in human volunteers. Citizens who wish to apply as a potential volunteer, there's already a waiting list, can do so at the Royal Victoria. Mm -hmm. That's it. So this game is really good looking. <laughs> That's what I've noticed in my first hour of playing. It's so polished. The voice acting's fantastic. The world building in the beginning that I've seen so far is great. And it's just utterly beautiful. Look at these little, I don't know if you can see them. I'll try to stay still. Little particles, dust particles in the air. Right in front of the filing cabinet, in front of the window. Gently drifting. 
and the lighting and the reflections, the way the lighting reflects off of things. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Keep in mind, though, everything doesn't actually look like this in reality. This is how things look on Joy. We might have rejected our joy, but we're still feeling the effects of the joy that we've taken in the past. So this is uh, us, Arthur Hastings, Employee of the Year, Department of Archives, Recycling and Printing. City of Wellington Wells. So that's the island, I guess, Wellington Wells. I've noticed that you want to search everything. And there's a lot of things to search. There's not much in the cabinets here, though. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. The voice acting is really fantastic. And that is so cool looking. All those documents just fluttering to and fro. Reminds me of when I was a kid. When my mom was in the car and doing stuff with the bank and we we're going to the drive through there was this weird like pneumatic tube thing that you'd put stuff in. I don't know what exactly. Checks, deposits, withdrawals probably. I guess any physical thing you have to transfer. It's pretty cool. Don't know if those still exist. Clive Burt Whistle. Clive Burt Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Wait, how do I access my journal? Can I not yet? I think I can't access my journal yet. Uh, I guess I'll read that later. Ooh. I love how the shag carpet looks, by the way. Very shaggy. Restricted area. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Yeah, stop me. You could even search trash bins. <laughs> What happened there? Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of you right now, Clive. <laughs> Farmer is expected to return from Germany, October 29th, 1946. With the last harvests in and frost painting the valleys of Thuringen, Wellington Wells 129 volunteer farm workers are expected to return home within the next two weeks states Sir Robert Bing. Each highly paid and well-fed volunteer worker replaces one German soldier heroically fighting communism on the Eastern Front. Unemployed men of Wellington Wells who are interested in volunteering for work in Germany in the spring should contact contact Hauptmann Werner Erdhart at his office at Waterloo House. V meat. Victory meat? Weird. When he's back from harvesting crops in Germany, he'll be tired of sauerkraut. Oh, that's a, that's a great joke right there. Nothing wrong with that one. Taxi service restored on three wheels, June 7th, 1952. Wellington Wells once again has taxi service. Bicycle taxi, that is. The enterprising young Nigel Hemingford is now carrying paying passengers along Parade Street. He is also willing to take up to two customers at a time anywhere in Wellington Wells. Mr. Hemingford, 17, built his taxi out of two bicycles, with the assistance of his father, Edmund Hemingford, known locally as the Wicker Man for his mastery of the art of crafting wicker. The seating of Mr. Hemingford, the younger's bicycle rickshaw, as he likes to call it, takes its inspiration, according to Mr. Hemingford, the elder, from Roman racing chariots. Contrary to what you've seen in old movies, these had to be as lightweight as possible, yet sturdy. Wellington under... Wellington under reopens. May 12, 1944. Thanks to the heroic efforts of Colonel von Stauffenberg's efficient mechanics, 
The Wellington Under will restore limited service. The following stations will be served from one hour after curfew ends to one hour before curfew begins. Waterloo, da da da, bunch of names, bunch of places. Tickets are one S six P for the aged. P is pen. So much where the S is. Details are available at the stations during operating hours. That's a rather inconvenient bit of history. There's their nice family. Scrap of paper. Oh, here we go. Oh, now I can access the other letters from here. Um, well, let's start with the ones we found in the door. Letter from Miss Bing. Oh, look, Miss Bing has written Clive a letter. Dear Mr. Burt Whistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I'm always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I'm afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel a sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, director. Take that, Clive, you little shit. I love that there's actually commentary from Arthur within the letter. Normally when you in a game when you open up a letter, usually it's just the letter itself. And if there's any comment about it, then maybe the character says it like when you first open it or maybe after you you close the note. But here, the commentary is actually in the letter itself. I kind of like that. It's different. And this message is surprisingly sarcastic and aware for somebody who I assume is on Joy? Maybe they're not? I don't know. Statistics. This is just a game thing. Been playing for 14 minutes. Nice. Total times plague contracted. Zero. Let's keep it that way. Handwritten letter. And here's a letter in what I'm almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is a, subs is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job reducing old articles, redacting old articles, is silly. And what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim, with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I'm a naturally shy woman and... And there it leaves off. A shy woman, are you, Clive? Or just a nasty, manipulative schemer. So Clive's making up shit to try to get us in trouble. Except I don't think they're making up things when they say that we're kind of subversive and said something like, what's so scary about the truth? It feels like Arthur is a bit special. I think that's why we came off our joy. Is because we're special, and of course because seeing that article made us think of our brother, was it? Percival? But yeah, they seem to be someone who questions and doubts more than most. That little shit. He wants my view. Employee of the month? Clive really doesn't like me. They're all empty or locked like that one. Did I take the uh, charger battery thing from the top of my thing? I did. Once my view. Yeah, look what a beautiful view I have. It actually is a pretty nice view, to be honest. Prudence Holmes scratched off. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? So this is what it actually looks like, right? Or is it? It seems rotten regardless of whether we're on joy or not. Are we? Is this how everything looks on joy or not? I'm pretty sure this is on joy. 
things don't normally look this colorful. My summer holiday. You're not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Winner of best attitude. Winner of the Simon Says Team Tournament. Did they actually go to these places? Did they actually go to Canada? And wherever else these pictures are from? Or is this just something they wished to do? Because I feel like this isn't the sort of place that would allow you to leave, you know? This island? I don't think they'd let you off the island. And also, what the hell has happened with the rest of the world in the intervening years since the 40s? It's been about 20 years since we were occupied. So what now? What's... what's out there? Are you off your joy, Pro? I mean... you too. Bolshevism against Europe Gala or Gala, a uh, smash. August 22nd, 1945. The new and exciting exposition, Bolshevism Against Europe, had its sparkling gala at City Hall last night. 88 invited luminaries, including the new Queen of the Wellington Wells stage, Jane Morris, as well as the members of the Executive Committee, and of course, Sir Robert Bing and his eye-catching daughter, Victoria, attended the glamorous function. The exhibition is now open to the public. Bolshevism Against Europe, mounted by the Wellington Wells Committee for Anti-Communist Action, uncovers the secret history of the Bolshevik movement before its takeover of Russia, the murder of the Tsar, and the creation of the Soviet Union. It traces the hidden connections between the Soviet Union, the British Labour Party, the Roman Catholic Church, and the Freemasons. Finally, it reveals the insidious perf perfidy of communist fellow travelers even now within our own society. Visitors will learn how to be on the alert for communist conspiracies and propaganda. The exhibition, which is free to the public, will continue through November 15th. I love all the details on these papers, by the way. They just look beautiful. With all of their old papery look and... I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a real newspaper. <laughs> and it even has little ads for little companies. Genuine Rotgen's Composition. Hell yeah. Remember to turn in your automotive. August 22nd, 1945. Colonel von Stauffenberg reminds citizens that all private automotives have been requisitioned by the municipal authorities on behalf of the Imperial German Army and must be turned in by October 2nd. Owners are to bring their vehicles, which must contain at least a one-quarter full tank of petrol, to the train station. To reduce queues, vehicles with license plates ending in 1 and 2 may be turned in on Monday, um, 3rd and four, oh, 3 and 4 on Tuesday, 5 and blah blah blah. A fine of £100 will be levied against the registered owner of any automotive not turned in by that date. The fine for an empty petrol tank is £10. Owners with a current municipal exemption, of course, are not required to participate. And what is this food here? Tripe? Did you know that tripe is the perfect food for your perfect baby? It contains all the essential... It contains all the essential... Wait, what? It contains all the essential... Your baby to your local butchers and he'll give you your baby's weight in tripe. Free, courtesy of the English Tripe Guild. What's tripe? <laughs> Margaret Worthing will open Battle of Flowers. Tuesday, July 2nd, 1946. Don't mind my cat screaming in the background, by the way. She wants food. But it's not feeding time yet, baby. Miss Margaret Worthing has been crowned the junior field commander of the 1946 Battle of Flowers, which takes place this Sunday. 
She'll lead the annual flower parade accompanied by her father, Jack Worthing, former lead actor of the Will Kempt Traveling Players. She was crowned last night at the Garden Gala by 1945's junior field commander, Sally Boyle. Miss Worthing was selected, according to the organizers, because of her spectacular victory garden. We were all amazed how many different varieties of exotic flowers she's grown, all while helping feed her family with her vegetables. The Battle of Flowers dates back to 1920, when participants in the flower parade decided to dismantle their floats and attack each other with blooms. The battle has become the tradition, the traditional end to the flower parade. I'm not sure if approving that's really gonna reveal the truth about our history, but what the heck. Oh, I read this one when I was playing for the first time. <laughs> this one's funny. Police arrest four in Breeder Riot. 6th of November, 1951. One man, Renolf Alderley, and three unnamed women were arrested in what the police are calling another Breeder Riot Sunday night. The victim, they're not actually a victim, Mrs. Ann McCutcheon appears to be in stable condition, as is her husband, Mr. Cyril McCutcheon. There is no word yet on the conditions of her baby, whose birth was not expected for another two months. The arresting officer, PC, PC stands for public constable or something like that, right? John, John wait, the arresting officer, PC John Constable? Public Constable John Constable? Your last name is Constable? Uh, anyway, they stated, It's dangerous for women who are in a family way to strut their condition about. Frankly, it sets people off when decent folk are doing their level best to forget. A breeder riot. Um, yeah, look up what the term breeder means if you're not sure. Hi, Arthur. <laughs> totally normal. Feeling great now. So, so for, I guess, Hopkins Jones is the person who just stabbed them, I think. I guess for them to do that so violently, give them their joy, does that mean they're not on joy? Seems like a rather aggressive action that I would think people not on joy would know to do to keep everybody else unaware, you know? Anyway, I'm just going to read the newspaper. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. I don't think there was anything in any of these drawers when I searched them last time, but there was this power cell. Oh, uh, warning, I guess? There's gonna be a bloody dead animal here. It's kind of gross. It's not alive, though. It's just already dead. You'll understand what's going on in a second. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Smash it! Go on, smash it, silly face off! Who? 
You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Ah! Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. <laughs> Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Smell gas? Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time. Oh. Christ, how far did those bastards chase me? There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. I think it's the gas from here when we dislodged that pipe that scared him off. I guess we were okay, though. Unfortunately, the pipe that we knocked off of that thing, we can't pick it up. It doesn't seem to be here anymore. Not sure why. Maybe the cops took it when they ran off. Well, I'm not getting out that way. Yeah, this game's really good looking. I was surprised how beautiful it was. Just because I hadn't really seen it in action very much at all. Was that text upside down? <laughs> oh, look at that stuff inside of there, though. You can see it all moving. Barrel home distribution node. Oh, hey, rat. Sarah, I beat up your friend and ate him. Well, I didn't eat him. Everybody else did. So looting seems to be very important. Like, loot everything. <laughs> We're definitely off of our joy now, right? I mean, this place would look a lot cleaner and prettier if we weren't. I don't know, it says joy in the upper left corner, but I think that's... I think that'd probably be like white or filled in if we were on Joy. Because I know you can take Joy to, I guess, like temporary blend in or something like that. So people don't know who you are, a downer. You can search toilets. There's a dirty bandage in this toilet. It's so disgusting. Oh, we can also drink... Oh god, we can drink really nasty water. Look at the color of this water. Don't drink water if it looks like that. Diary of Prudence Holmes. Prudence really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. So Prudence is that third office we went to. Let's read the stuff we got. Uh, this one is new, and this one too, of course. This is just a note to myself. Well, Arthur, you've gone and done it, haven't you? Not only rather spectacularly quit your job, but you're a downer too. The townsfolk will unleash the hounds, or they would if we hadn't eaten them 20 years ago. The wastrels don't seem terribly friendly. I hope they aren't really cannibals. Oh god, I'm one of them now, aren't I? I've got to get out of Wellington Wells. I've got to get over to get over the bridge and off the islands, which means I've got to get back into the parade district, don't I? Which I was just chased out of. Brilliant. Question. What in dog's name were you thinking? Answer. Percy. I saw his picture from just before we put them all on the train. God, all that horrible grinding steel and the screams. How he must hate me. Why did I tell the Jerry's I was already 13? They were only off by 10 days. Why didn't I keep my mouth shut and get on the train and go off to Germany with him like I promised him? I can't remember. But I promised him. That's got to mean something. 
I've got to go find Percy, wherever he is, and make sure he's okay. P.S. How long have we been eating rats? <laughs> so remember, 13 was the cutoff for registration, so I guess every child registered was probably forced off in a train. Yeah, because it's everybody under 13. So the fact that Arthur told the, the Jerry's, whatever that is, that it was already 13 means they're not on the list, which means they don't go in the train, which is why they got separated from Percival. So there's a bridge, right? I got to get got to get to the bridge. Got to get over the bridge and off the islands. OK, so we don't have to get away in a boat. There is a bridge. Diary of Prudence Holmes. Was this a mistake? It seemed so clever to disappear first, rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they'd ever known a Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive would take my office, and they'd forget anyone else was ever in it. But now that I'm here, I wonder. Should I have put my trust in Mr. Kite? And where are his bloody instructions? In the abandoned house, yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with all these wastrels? My god, they look like something out of Dante. We'd chase someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. I knew we chased them out when Joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, a decent hospital. But I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We're all complicit. We know without knowing and don't want to remember, so we don't. My god, I can't wait to get to the mainland. I have some doubts that the mainland is all that much better. I mean, if we're connected to the mainland by a bridge, then <laughs> wouldn't the outside world react to everybody here being on joy? One big mass delusion and everything that atrocities happening here to people who don't take joy? Something must be wrong with the outside world, right? Okay, so apparently Mr. Kite was helping Prudence Holmes get out, get to the bridge, get to the mainland. Mr. Kite said to look in the abandoned house, of which there are many, so we should look for abandoned houses. Of which I can tell you, there are many. I didn't look in very many of them when I played before. Cloth scrap, glass bottle. We can throw glass bottles as a distraction. You really got to be really careful at looking at stuff you can pick up, because it's very easy to miss stuff like that. Like an empty pill bottle. What use will an empty pill bottle be? I don't know. There is crafting, by the way, if you haven't figured it out from duct tape and all that stuff. Loppy pins allows to make lockpicks. Tie a string. Fourth of October, nineteen sixty-four, to Mister Rupert Underhill, Station Four, from Jim Watt, Chief Engineer. Dear Rupert, are you quite certain Teddy's off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mates, man. Have you tried tying a string around his finger? That always helps me. Anyway, I can't reassign Teddy because I haven't got a replacement. All the juniors are off at Scargill. The substance has been. Subsidence has been severing all sorts of connections, and the motoline must flow. The motoline? I really appreciate your sticking by your post. If we don't do our duty, who are we? But try the string around the finger. I feel certain you'll manage the situation. All my best, Jimmy. Okay, really wants me to make a lockpick, so let's make one. There we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. Ah, 
Oh yeah, we needed to open up this. What happened to him? Or rather, who? Rupert Underhill. That is who the message was either from or to. Nothing on him. Electrolock shocker. So it's a one time use item for opening up electric locks. Limit joy to once per hour. What happens if you take more? Isn't there even a, a stat for that somewhere in here? Total times overdosed on joy. Total times crashed from joy toxicity. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things to manage. Promises. Have May going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. I guess this is what they mentioned in the note, uh, that Merv or whatever must flow. This is that stuff, huh? Oh, baby, my cat's screaming at me for food, but this time it actually is feeding time. I'll be right back. There we go. Kitty's taken care of. In the paused screen here, I noticed it looks like there's some little things here. Yeah. Oh, it's in German. Achtung, which means like uh, attention. <laughs> That's about all the German I know. <laughs> attention, something, something. It's easy to... I could type that in to try to translate it, but it would be very laborious. So uh, if anybody speaks German or feels like typing it in, please feel free to translate it and post it in the comments. I do see Poppin... Poppin Corkin. Spitzin Sparkin. Popcorn? Or popping... Something fizzy? Uh, nah, whatever. Modeline, now with resublimated Theo, um, how would I pronounce that? Theo Modeline? Something like that. They contain corrosive substances, don't drink. So what is it? Obviously it's not a food, is it some sort of a fuel? Pneumatic stash. When you craft, you can use any items in your pneumatic stash, no matter where you are. Oh, oh, that's nice. So it's not just like a storage container for when you run out of space, but you can also access it from anywhere. Oh yeah, this says the fuel of the future. So it is a fuel. I didn't actually find this in my other playthrough. Your stash is in limited storage. Crafting components stored here can be used everywhere. That's awesome. So, I mean, I might as well just like dump everything. Well any crafting thing here so not like food or medicine but anything i might craft with yeah so there is a limit it's a weight limit right now i've got three out of a hundred pounds which is pretty generous i collected a lot of things and i was only up to like 10 pounds so i'm not super concerned about inventory space right now oh this is stuff that's in there so if i want to transfer my own stuff like, I don't want to transfer those because I'm going to use them directly. I don't want to transfer my clothes. These are crafting ingredients. Oh, yeah, this entire category is crafting components. So I guess you can just go straight here and just transfer everything. Move all crafting items to the stash. With E. Yeah, you don't even have to go to the category. You just press E. Or just press that. That's cool. Diary of Theodore Minor. Oh. 
September 18th. I look into the lights like the doctors ordered. I could swear I see shapes in there, moving around. Like shadows, but made of light. And there's shadows all around, always around the corner. He keeps turning lights off, says he wants to save the bulbs. He's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he? How he loves to feel superior. September 19th took a two joy just so I could stand his ugly face. Why won't it work? Has he swapped them out for something? Paracetamol? Jelly beans? Actually, I think it's paracetamol. Jesus, we haven't had jelly beans since... Have we ever had jelly beans? September 20th. I hate when he talks in that slow, condescending voice. Like I'm a child. I'm not a child, am I? I don't even know any children. Obviously. Jesus, what is wrong with my joy? September 22nd. There he is, scritching away in the corner. Scribble, 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 huh, Mr. Gibbon? And then the whoosh of the pneumatic tube. He's blaming it all on me, what happened, isn't he? He says it's his missus. I don't believe he's still got a missus. With his big, mossy teeth? I bet she went on holiday long ago. Was I married once? How did it end? I get an awful feeling in my stomach. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy remembering. Something's all fucked up about the joy, and he won't send me home. We've got to stay here. Duty. September 25th. I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't rats. It's his big, mossy teeth. I lay awake and picture squeezing his throat till he turns the color of my carrots he bloody well stole. He's plotting something. September 28th. Let him try to weasel out of this one. I saw him writing those lies. Reassign me, will he? Off my joy, am I? I'm bloody well tripling up and he knows it. October 6th. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. Okay, so either they got a bad batch of joy or maybe they were just having some sort of a bad reaction to it. And then, I guess, killed all the people down here? That's why they're dead? Oh, I can sleep? Oh. This is what's going to happen with my health. This is what's going to happen with how well slept I am, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty well slept right now, 90%. And I guess this is what my joy is going to be or something. I'm assuming it would go down if I slept as the effects wear off. I don't need to sleep right now. Actually, if I remember right, I think... Uh, what was her name? Teddy? I think Teddy is in that room and we're gonna have to fight him. Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Walk to another hatch, no other hatches powered. Yeah, so these hatches seem to be basically like fast travel points. I think we can go from one to any of the other hatches, but we only have one, so I can't do anything oh. with it just yet. The hatch looks shut. I'm gonna need a way to unlock it. There must be a switch in one of these rooms. There's blood all over here. Can you see him if we look in the room? No, I don't know where they're hiding. Okay, so we need to hack it with this little electronic device. And we're gonna have a surprise when we open this. This game is so slick, like every little device just looks and sounds really satisfying and cool. Anyway, here we go. This is like the fighting tutorial. You can block and you can punch. You can also push. Downer deck. Perk up, you. That's there we go. The first fight I've won since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Nothing on him. I'm gonna throw him back in this room. Literally throw them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so funny. Oh, I didn't find this in the hour that I played before either. 
I'm gonna check that out in a second. But this opens the thing. What if I press it again? I was wondering if it would just retract. <laughs> yeah, this game's just really pretty. God, everything's so well detailed. And yeah, there's a really nice feature here. So this thing is locked and I could craft. Oh, I guess it won't show up in my inventory because all my crafting stuff is in the thingy, right? Yeah, not really. I just have one bobby pin. Um, but anyway, if it's in your thing or if it's in your inventory, you actually don't have to go into the crafting menu to make something like a lockpick. You can actually, if you see there with hold V, craft lockpick and pick file cabinet. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game before. Saving the trouble of going into the menu and crafting it and then coming back out and using it just skips that. Just lets you craft it and use it right away. That's really convenient. That's a really good idea. Metal bits. Yay. Oh, there's another one. Uh, apparently I have the stuff to craft another one. Jimmy bar. Can Jimmy stuff open with that? Alright, what's up here? Whoa. Oh, is that the f have they been like drinking it or something? God, it looks so cool. It's so glowy. Rotten carrot. Yum yum. Four bobby pins, dirty bandage, dart, rotten potato. Mmm. And six sovereigns? Is that what the S stood for? And the S and P, P being pence, and S is sovereigns? I just love how that luminescent fluid looks. <gasps> A not rotten carrot. Can't open that. You know what? My health is actually pretty bad. 42%. I guess I should sleep. I don't think there's any way, any reason I need to be, like, rushing right now. I'm gonna have to sleep for a while. A long while. Oh, is that... 24 hours is the most you can sleep? Fair. I still won't even be fully healed. Try not to dream about trains. You're quite hungry, max stamina reduced, and then something else. So yeah, there's a lot of statuses. Well, I have the carrot to eat, right? And then I have a bunch of moldy stuff. Yeah, that has a risk of giving me food poisoning. Can cause food poisoning. Can cause food poisoning. Also a chemical crafting ingredient. Yeah, I hope there's other uses for this than eating. Because... I'm not gonna eat something that's rotten. Let's eat the carrot. So are we good now? Like this food thing is still orange. Oh wait, now it's white. I guess that doesn't mean that... That just means it affects that one. Not that like our food is bad. Yeah, I guess, guess that's fine. We found a way up and out. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days, we could remember where things were. 
Yeah, it seems like joy doesn't just make you see things differently, but it also makes you forget the past. Forget everything that happened before. How can people function, though? Like, do they just forget what they did yesterday? Even? How would you do your... How could you do your job if you just forgot everything all the time? Hmm. Anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm I'm really intrigued by this game. I'm intrigued by the world, the characters, the voice acting's great. It's beautiful. It's really slick and seems well-polished. So... Can't wait to play more. Thanks for watching.